Okay, so we've uh, seen this definition of function. We've talked about uh, change and in the context of linear equations, and we've talked about the slope of linear relationships, and now we're going to talk about this in more general terms. We're going to try to expand this idea of slope and think about what that, that means. So we're going to define something called the average rate of change, uh, which basically is going to be a definition. We're going to talk about what we mean by change and two different ways to talk about change, and then we'll give an example. Uh, just a quick recap. For, we have this idea of a function, and a function is a rule that will give us a unique output for each admissible input. So that's a key thing. So if I give it an admissible value, I can get one value back out of this. Okay? And I want to talk about what happens in terms of the change. If I put in a different admissible input, how much does the function change? Okay. Well, there's two different ways to talk about this. The first is the idea of total change. Okay, so for total change, what does that mean? So if I think about my function or the graph of a function, I have that. Suppose I have two values here, so one at x1, one at x2, okay, so this is going to be the point x1, y1, this is x2, y2. Okay. I look at this thing, this distance right here is y2 minus y1, that distance there is x2 minus x1. The total change is just going to be the change in the height of the graph. So the total change is just going to be y2 minus y1. Okay. And if I think of this now as the function y equals g of x, this is g of x2 minus g of x1. Okay. Now the other idea in terms of change is to think about this now in terms of the rate. Um, so this other idea, the, the rate of change, we'll call it the average rate of change. We're going to start with the total change. What instead is to normalize it in terms of what the change in the x is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this divided by this, and what we end up with is if I were to draw a straight line between those points, it's going to be the slope of that line. Okay? So this is then going to be divided by x2 minus x1. Okay? So let's look at an example. So the key thing here, before I move on, is that given a function, given two values in the domain, this will values, I can talk about the total change in the function, it's just the vertical change in the graph, but I can also look at the average rate of change where I take the total change in the uh, function divided by the total change in the uh, inputs, and that's going to be the slope of the line that goes through those two points. Okay. So let's look at an example. Suppose I have x squared, and I'm looking at two different points, say going from 1 to 2. So I graph this thing, it's going to look like that. Okay. And my x1 is 1, my x2 is 2. So the two points on this thing are going to be the point 1, 1, and 2, and this is 2 squared, or 2, 4. Okay. So in terms of this change, I'm looking at what happens from those two points. So 
So the total change here is 3. I want to look at the average rate of change. I'm going to look at the line that goes through those two points. It's going to be the total change in the y. Clean that up. And the total change in the x, or the inputs, are going to be 2 minus 1. So the slope of that line is also going to be 3. Okay. What happens, though, if I change this a little bit? Okay. So now what happens if I want to look at the average rate of change for this thing from A equals 1 to say B equals 3. And now let's see what happens. Okay, so we have different values there. I'm going to change this graph. Okay, so for my graph it's going to be the same function. Go from 1 to 3. So this is going to be the point 1, 1. This is going to be the point 3, and then 3 squared is 9. Okay. The total change is going to be 9 minus 1. It's going to be 8. And the rate of change is going to be the change in the y divided by the change in the inputs. which now gives me 4. So if I were to draw a line through those two points, the slope of that line 